What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Bravex Hero and today we're talking about the exotic combat bow, Luminarch. Prior to the launch of Destiny 2 Witch Queen, there was speculation that Luminarch was going to receive a catalyst. And lo and behold, the catalyst is here. So today we're going to be talking about how to get this catalyst, where to unlock this catalyst, and what this catalyst does. So if you're new to the channel, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on all notifications. But with that, let's get into the video. The Lumanark is an energy combat bow which comes with the exotic perk Poison Arrows. Arrows fired quickly after a full draw become Poison Arrows. Precision hits with Poison Arrows spread poison to nearby enemies. It also comes with the perk Snapshot. Now if you're looking to unlock the catalyst for this combat bow, it has been dropping at the end of PvP matches. It's unconfirmed if it drops at the end of any activity, but when I do confirm that, that'll be in the pinned comment down below. Now to fully unlock this catalyst of this bow, you need to defeat 700 enemies. So you can do this in three places. You can go out to the Shirochi checkpoint and defeat thralls there. You can go out to the Altar of Sorrow, which again, you can defeat enemies like you see on screen, or you can go to the entrance of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon, all of which can get this done easily. Personally, I think the entrance of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon was the easiest. I found a high point and just sat there and shot into the cave for about 15 to 20 minutes, which fully unlocked this bow. Now, once you fully unlock the Luminarch Combat Bow Catalyst, you receive two things. Number one, you receive the perk Unrelenting, in which rapidly defeating targets triggers health regeneration. Guardians and powerful combatants count as more than one kill. And to break this perk down even further, you need to kill two Guardians or three regular enemies. And you have to do this in an eight second window. On top of the perk Unrelenting, you receive a bonus to your stability and reload speed. You receive a plus 18 to reload speed and a plus 27 to stability. When it comes to PvP, I feel like these two perks Unrelenting and the stat bonus are really going to benefit this bow a lot. Lumanark is already one of the most competitive weapons in the game and you'll see it in a lot of end game PvP content. These perks just added more to its lethality. Do I think it's going to make this weapon broken? Probably not. I believe the stat bonus will be adding more to its consistency, but other than that, its utilization and usage will be going up a lot in PvP. Now for PvE, like endgame content, raids, dungeons, legend lost sectors, and grandmaster nightfalls, I feel like these two perks, unrelenting and a stat bonus on Lumanark, are really going to benefit this bow a lot, and it's already being used for endgame content. It just further solidifies this bow as being one of the top bows for PvE. When it comes to the day one raid, and there's a lot of sections that need ad clearing, I will probably be using Lumanark. But with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below in the comment section. Do you think that this catalyst is a bit too much? Do you think it's going to be too powerful for PvP? And if you're somebody who does PvE, what do you think? Are you excited to now have Unrelenting on Lomonark? But with that, I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on all notifications. With that, you guys have a good one and I will see you in the next video.